Welcome back to Goodnight Lighthouse. I'm Miss Dorothy and I'm here to read you another story. And I've got a book about books. This is going to be fun. This book is called The Book Hog. The Book Hog. Look, that's a hog, which is a big pig. And a book hog is somebody who takes lots and lots of books. I wonder why the book hog needs so many books. Wow, we're going to have to get into this book about books and read all about the book hog. That sounds exciting. Are you ready to get into this book about a book with Miss Dorothy? Good. I need you to sit up and listen up because here we go. The Book Hog, written by Greg Pizzoli. The book hog loved books. Wow, he's got a lot of books around him. And he had quite a few. Oh my, I would say he has quite a lot. He loved the way they smelled. Hmm, sniff, sniff. And the way the pages felt in his hooves. He especially liked the ones with pictures. He's sitting on the toilet looking at a book. He picked them up here at a yard sale and there in a garbage can, anywhere he could find them. But the book hog had a secret, shh, a big secret. Oh no, what is it? He didn't know how to read. Oh, <gasps> he had never learned. He was surrounded by books but the book hog couldn't read a single one. Ah! The book hog went to bed every night without a bedtime story. Oh no. One morning he went out looking for more books. Look, he's on his little scooter and he's looking for more books. He came to a long, low building and he smelled the books inside. <gasps> what building is that? I think it's the library. He snuck through the stacks, adding several books to his pile. But then a soft voice said, Would you like to come join us for story time? <gasps> it was Miss Olive, the librarian. Pick out a book and I'll read it with you. The book hog blinked. Then he swallowed. You'll, you'll read a book with me? Of course, said Miss Olive, as many as you'd like. This gave the book hog an idea. Wait here, he said to Miss Olive. And he went home. Why is he going home? Oh, and he came back with some books, with a lot of books. Miss Olive led story time, and the book hog listened closely. He heard many stories, some funny, some sad, some kind of in between. Over time, and with practice, the book hog learned to read on his own. Yay! Miss Olive taught him how to read. He grew to love books even more, not just for the way they looked and felt, but for the stories they told. Look, now he's reading to the children. And yes, the book hog still takes lots of books, but he always brings them back. He borrowed all those books from the library and then he went home and read them and now he's taking them back. Yay, the book hog learned to read. Oh, that was so wonderful. The book hog loved books. He loved to hold them and smell them and look at them, but he didn't know how to read them. Then he went to the library and the librarian helped him learn how to read. Now he can do books all on his own. He can go to the library, get a book, take a book home, bring a book back, take a book home, get a, bring a book back. That's what I do when I go to the library. I went to the library and I got this book to read to you. And then and I'll take it back and I'll get another one and I'll take it back and get another one. That's why I love the library. You need to go to the library and start borrowing some books. And 
then you need to learn to read because reading is so much fun. I love when we read together and one day you're going to be able to read to me. I have some friends who know how to read now and they read all the time. My friend Aubrey, she reads a book every night. Every night she reads a new book and she's starting to read really big books. You're going to be able to do that too. And until you do, you need to keep coming to see Miss Dorothy because I will read to you. But now it's time for all my little book hogs to crawl off into bed. I need you to get under those covers, get cuddled up, curled up, ready for a really good night's sleep. Give mom and dad lots of hugs and kisses. And tomorrow, whether you're reading or playing or whatever you're doing, obey and obey right away. And then come back and see Miss Dorothy. I'm going to be sitting right here, ready to read another book to you. Bye! Thanks for reading with Miss Dorothy. I hope you enjoyed this book, and I hope you'll come back soon to read another. What's your favorite book? Drop Miss Dorothy a note and let me know. I'll go find it, and I'll read it to you. Be sure to subscribe, like, and share. I'll see you soon.